Hear that siren? That's in game. That really is a city out the window and not a hallucination. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Carrion. I'm Burning Dog Face. And it occurs to me I've not actually defined that word. And it isn't the most common one in the universe. So, if you're not familiar, the word carrion actually refers to, uh, well, animal carcasses that are fed upon by uh, scavengers. You know, crows and vultures and such. I'm guessing it's called that, because when scavengers are done with something, it's pretty much just a gory mess, like our friend here. Last time, we came across a room filled with, uh, soldiers and mechs and defenses. And we discovered that we're actually on Earth. Which is a terrible place to do this particular research, but, you know, whatever. Oh. That's very convenient, because there's nowhere else to go. Thank you, me! Oh. Let's let those, uh, things continue dancing. I don't remember enough to know if, uh, that's the same helicopter from the flashback. Well, the derelict, they wouldn't have found us in an alien spaceship that was thousands of years old just lying around on Earth. I mean, it looked like it was just out in the middle of a desert somewhere. As opposed to, you know, having to, you know, dig it up under, uh, like a straight mile of rock because it crashed in the Triassic period or something. Uh, yeah, my options are limited, there's no goo pool, I have to go through the damn laser. I don't think I... I think there's been just too many pipes. I can't backtrack. Alright. Ah! Honestly, it's probably for the best that all they do is scream. It would be a very different game if they were, like, begging for their lives or talking about their families. Oh, right, who would be able to hit me anyway? Well, let's look down here, because I can come back from this way. For just a moment there, I was worried that I was going to come out in the back side of that uh, little alcove with the mech in it, but that was a different area. Yeah, down. Stop stepping on my head! It, oh. So I do need to be smaller. Well, I can't use it at the moment, but I might as well. Ooh! Looks like it's using a dial-up modem to connect. No, that's not what a dial-up modem sounds like. Uh -oh. Well, thank you for that. That's very convenient. Nope, that's before I mess with that. Uh, oh. Oh. Every time I see one of these things, I'm worried it's going to be the one that uh, frees the mechs. Oh, I 
turned off the lasers. Unexpected. Oops! Sorry. I mean, not really, but... Can I... That one is on. And I just watched that switch reset. You can't hide that from me. Oh, hey! Look at that! It is the right spot, yeah. It is! I mean, it's a dead end, I can see that. But it will be useful later. Okay, what are those other switches I was afraid to pull? Is it down here? Oh, this is definitely going to be one of those, so I'm going to go up here and pull the other one I was afraid to pull, then. Up into the left. Oops! Wrong turn. Well, that didn't help. But, 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 but... Oh, fine. What did it do? Side. Okay, fine, but... Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to do with this information. I know, I can't even... Even if I was small, I couldn't shoot it with my webbing because the switch is oriented the wrong way for that. I would just assume this is important somehow. And I will go body slam those mechs, I guess. I'm not looking forward to it, mind you. It's probably going to hurt a lot. Uh, was it down here? No, it was that one right there that I didn't want to pull. Oh, well, now you're just being... Unhelpful. And I can't go back up because, sorry, because, uh. Yeah, because of that. I don't think that's changed anything up here. Oops, I actually missed. Yes, the wood continues to dance, that pleases me. What is in this direction? Nothing! That's right, I remember now. Uh... Wait, no, that's not right. No, no, down, down! Oh, right, too big. Shit. Okay, this is actually tricky. I should have done the other thing, I guess, even if it did bring the mechs on my head. Can I switch it back? Ooh, if only I could break myself in half. Well, more literally than that, I mean. If I could leave a piece in there, I notice now that there's a uh, vent going all the way to the other side. Only these damnable windows weren't here. Like... But no, no, it doesn't give a shit. Look at that, it doesn't even get cracked up the way the walls do. It'll be faster for me to break this support frame than to actually damage that door. Oh no, wait, it was down. Is that... I don't think that's one of the, uh, the force field guys. Yeah, you're really going to hit me from up there, buddy. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's very funny. Grab him, god- uh, her, goddammit! Why do all the women have really, really short hair? I mean, with the lack of facial features and, you know, defined character models, it's actually kind of hard to tell. Is it, is it a military facility? I just got that it was, like, a science. Oh. Nothing is easy. Motherfucker. All right, I need to... I don't think that's how stairs work, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I don't even have legs. Ah, oh, it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't do any damage at all! Ah, my organs! I've been obliterated. I'll show you, you fucker. Well, crap, I didn't mean to do that. This thing with the tentacles, the uh, multiple tentacles, might be a problem. This side, this side... Ah! Got you. Uh... You damaged me. No! Me those legs. Hey, I've eaten your friend. I'm not sorry. I just wanted you to know that. You know, full informativeness and all that. Ooh, check it out! I'm a big, scary robot, and I can't fit out of this closet! Walk down. I really, really like those doors, by the way. Just how extremely heavy-duty they are, with, like, three layers of metal locking them in place. Sorry. I mean, not really, but... I knew that. I just can't stop breaking things. Oh, it's not real anymore. I mean, why did I think I would be over there? Okay, never mind. Uh, is this open? Yes. That was a victimless crime. That was just some guy's chair. Missed one. I don't say this about very many things, but I'm pretty sure I would prefer to experience the zombie apocalypse than the flesh apocalypse. And I hate zombies. <laughs> Just 
Gib is flying in under the door while you're trying to poop. Wait, I could have just broken that. And in fact, I shall. If I can ever get my tentacles in the right position. There! I shoved all of myself under there. Hi, me! Hello, me! I don't know why the other one would have a higher pitched voice now that I think about it. Since it's all me, you'd think it would all just be the same. The first time it did that, I was expecting something enormous to burst out of the seal. Like me, but worse. Oh, see, I saw this background, I thought it was kind of fucked up. I was like, is this a damage to part of the building? Can I get out? I mean, I get that it's a rotary fan, it just looks weird to see one from the side, you know? Uh, over there, I mean. Oh no! Robots! I want you to consider how easy it would have been to not have the door open when the robots die. Hello, I'm the flesh. Pleased to meet you. Ooh, I'm big and scary. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Well, nothing to be done for it. Let's drag this computer over here. I guess I don't need those parts right now, do I? Well, it's not the CN Tower, so at least I'm not eating Toronto. I don't know if that's a real building or not. I don't think that's the Space Needle. I think that's the one in Seattle. Hang on, I did that already. That's what that switch did, isn't it? So am I doing it this time? I'm so stealthy I didn't even notice I got out. Uh oh! But to look at that. Missed. actually get up again after you knock them down, or...? Damn it! I went for the middle guy, it didn't work. I forgot. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. The shield was more more dangerous. I forgot the other guys were also dangerous. And ah, uh, don't love this. I'm gonna go through this pipe needlessly because I find that animation kind of funny. Whoop. That made me feel a touch better. Wait a minute. Is that a skid? Oh, it's like a cage or something. I smashed a robot with a robot. That felt good. Ah! 
Hi, everyone. I'm here to murder you. Speed run. <laughs> oh, no. That should not have been that funny. Oh, there's the timer. Uh, turn that off. So I will just explode through this. Get up into this vent. And call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I hope you'll join me next time on Let's Play Carrion. Later.